What is going on my lovely individuals of the world? It was requested of me to do a short little video of just fucking around in training mode. And I figure why not do that? Now right now I only really have two characters to do it with. I could do it with Susano because I do have enough knowledge to do some stuff. But given that he has fallen off my radar in terms of interest in the character... It's better to just stick with the two characters that I've actively been playing and then hopefully try to add in at least one more. I would like to have a rotation of three. I've pretty much always had, except for Continuum Shift, I've basically always had a rotation of three. Obviously, in CS2, I have my godlike Turger, I'm my godlike Jin, and I'm my godlike Carl. That's right. You heard me, bitches. But so the big thing that I want to work on is new mix-up. Also, you know what I actually need to do? No need to actually wrap it back, but whatever. Actually, I've been seeing people do alternative uh, stuff with this. And so instead of doing the full jump chain, they do like... That was awesome by me. Well, it won't work off of that. Because they do, basically what they do is like, just immediately JC into JD. And so it winds up with them, they don't go up as far, thus they have don't have as far to fall. And it actually gives them more advantage afterwards. Which is always a good thing. That's what it is. You got a super jump. Okay, so it's like that. But you saw, like, it was really... It was very fast. In terms of, like, when I got to the ground. And so, like, that's not what you wanted, but you want to go for the 2D, because it recovers fast enough that if you do that and they don't tech immediately, you get a lower weak point, now you have both weak points. And if they do tech, you recover in time in order to still hit, like, 2A or 5A. And if they try to roll, the 2D uh, will hit them. So it's, a re it's really good. I just need to get accustomed to doing that instead of going for what my muscle memory screams at me to do. And I also want to work on the reason why I haven't blocking low is so I can work on this shit. Because if you do it, time it well, you get that. And if you time it differently, you get that. And like that's, you're not reacting to that. You are absolutely not reacting to that. Maybe, maybe people with incredible, because even this is difficult to react to. The knowledge that the, well, actually let me check this out. What if I did like... Doesn't look like that'll work from that distance. I don't think it will. But I am fucking up. Doesn't look like that'll work. And that's... I don't want that kind of a dash. Why? Oh, that's not... That is not a good sign. I mean, it looks like it's working fine now, but there were a couple times there where I pressed the C button. And nothing... Not the C... Yeah, the C button my R1 and nothing came out it looks like it's fine now but I mean with all the characters actually that really sucks for me that that actually might explain some issues I had 
while I was playing yesterday. Let me turn on my inputs. Where do I go to turn on my inputs? Doesn't look like, I mean, obviously all my button presses are coming through now, but there were definitely a couple times there where I was sitting there mashing on this and nothing came out. And that's actually what I was struggling with. Everything, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure every single thing that I struggled with, it was kind of like, something should have come out there, why didn't anything happen, was a C button. Like, I was missing three C cancels, I was missing... Uh, Sentinel dump cancels, which the command for that is 2-2-C. I was missing, like, the ends of Rekka's. Shit. I, maybe I should just buy Hori. I don't know. I've had issues with Adark sticks. I've had issues with Mad Cat sticks. That's what I'm using right, right now. I'm using the Mad Cat's TES Plus. I have had, I've only had one Hori stick. I actually still have it, but it was Xbox 360 exclusive. And, um, so because of that, it was just, I used, I did use it for a very long time, never had any problem with it. My only issue with it was that it was actually, what was it, it was the Real Arcade Pro 4, I think? Incredibly lightweight. It was so, so light that it was really easy, it really easily kind of like, if I was doing stuff, it would move around on me. Um, whereas all the other sticks I've owned have had some, like, legitimate weight to them. But I never, I mean, granted, I didn't use it all that much, because once I got the Chun-Li version of the uh, Mad Cats Tournament Edition stick. I started using that. That was an Xbox 360 stick as well. But, I mean, like I said, man, my first um, Mad Cat stick stopped functioning on me. Now, granted, that one was likely my fault. At least when, why it broke was my fault. Maybe it would have had other issues later on down the line. This one, though, has been, has been treated incredibly well. I always clean it. I always put it in the bag, put it in a bag, and, you know, lock that bag up when I'm not using it. Oh, no, that's, that's a bad look if that is actually happening. So it looks like, is this true? Everybody, let me actually check this out real quick. I just want to... Okay, so it's not true of him. I was just checking because with Asriel, you can't overdrive cancel his D moves. You have to overdrive can't. I mean, you have to rapid can't. That was too low. But yeah, you have to rapid cancel into it. You can't just uh, do it. I wonder if you could continue following that up. That would be interesting. What was the actual combo I was working on? Was it just this? I think it was just that. No, I think there was more to it than that. Well, no, I did start that with... Oops, I'm gonna do... Idiot again. Wanted to immediately go into Phantom Rush. I think it's too low again, so I'll just have to go for a not rapid cancel. That was weird that it went that far. The well, problem with doing that version is that if I want to go into, uh, let me see. Damn it. So 
Wait, could you do? There's no way you get to. Okay. <laughs> if you would be able to like do uh, special cancel his special moves, that would be kind of amazing. Oh, that's right. I forgot you can kind of do that. Oops. That's not really. I mean, it gives you mad advantage. I think I did just do it too early. Not getting the super jump. Why am I not getting super jumps? Come on, man. But yeah, if I can effectively add this to my gameplay, who boy, rest in peace, everybody that gets put in block stun. Because you can do it off of variable things, I just need to work on... Because the problem is, once you get too far away, so like if I try to do like a block string into it, that's too far away. But, you can, if done correctly... And that was not correctly. Hmm. You can get it so that he'll dash lower to the ground. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that was kind of more like it. Hmm. I don't know. Stuff to work on. What else can I even work on with this character? How long has it been? It's only been 12 minutes. See, this is why I just sit here. It's like, I'm not patient enough to sit here and just grind through shit and like nail it down so I have it 100% of the time. So for instance, those Phantom Rush combos. Why does it have that delay in there where it doesn't just do something immediately? What did I, pr I feel like I practiced something that gave me a fourth hit in there before I went to Growler. Guess I just have to wait? I gonna have to look back at that video to remember what the fuck I found. Is that aw oh, damn it? I don't know why I kinda thought that would be an airborne move. That's definitely waiting way too long. I gotta do. I don't know why I did that. Oh, is that what I did? Maybe. Knowing that, I'm 
Definitely doing that too high, obviously, that's why. Or not too high, too low. You know what I think the issue is? It's that I'm doing raw. That was it. Although I think he might tech out of that. But yeah, that was the problem. It was because I was uh, just doing it raw, so he was too low to the ground. He was lower to the ground than he usually would be. I wonder. Classic. I think that was late, but it looks like that might work. If I can get him down even lower, that would be even better. I think that was, nah, that was still about the same height. Well, it's definitely not going to work from here. So that's a corner only thing. Oh, that's right, I forgot he can't special cancel his forward throw. That does give you a bit more damage. Alternatively, I could just do some shit like... Oops, not that. That actually did not give me... I mean, that got me four more damage, not really worth it. Thirty eighty three, so that one is better. Alright, well anyway. I don't really know what to do in the corner with Hornet. Actually, does that work? Oh, shit, I can't do it now. No, that was too high. But maybe. Damn it. Just want to see if that works. Oh, that's right. I actually forgot. Oh, it let me see if that still works. Oops. Nah, he's, that's not good enough proration. You, with, I assume it would still work because I don't think anything's changed, but with Jin and Izayoi, I think it was only those two characters in the cast. Asriel could do that, wall stick them, land a 2D as they're falling, and then actually link... I can't remember if it was a 5A or a 2A, but he could link something afterwards thanks to their weird hurt box on the way down. It like it lets you hit them higher than normal and so you could juggle off of it. It was a little weird, but anyway. What did I want to test? Oh yeah. But not that. Actually, this is about, that's about the poorest. Let me just... Oh, I 
Like, I feel like something like that, something really simple, would be the best. And then actually confirming that into something else. What else could he confirm into? Like, I could do Rekkas. I could do another jump chain. Oops. Well, that definitely didn't work. Maybe I could do that. Oh, my C button stopped working again. That sucks! I mean, let me go check this out. Let's hang on a second. We're gonna take a break from this, uh... Little wonderful moment of training mode. Let's see how much Hori Spite sticks. I assume $150. But the problem is that, um... My laptop is also currently kind of falling apart, and so... I should probably be looking for a new computer as well. It's been like, a, for a month, it's been raging in my head a debate about whether or not I want to try and rearrange everything in my room so that I have room for a desktop and then get that. Because obviously, I mean, a desktop is just better all around. It's more customizable. It's easier to update parts without having to get an entirely new system. Um, more powerful in general. I mean, it's just, there's really, the only downside is that it takes up more space and it's stationary. Versus a laptop, I can kind of have wherever the hell I want. I can use it wherever I want. But on the flip side of that, I have a Chromebook right now. And I kind of just, like, essentially use my laptop as a desktop anyway. I can get the Real Arcade Pro 5 Hayabusa version for $334. <laughs> hell no! Yeah, it looks like the Hori sticks are $150. What about, didn't they make a new one? Or no, that was eight arc, wasn't it? I think. Let me actually check that out. I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get an eight arc because I've had two of them fail on me now. That's right, the Comba Dragon. It has like the fancy ass sides and shit. Oh, never mind. Is that what I? I don't know. If the... Oh, that, yeah, that is. It looks a bit. Diff... It looks kind of weird. Oh, that's why. It looks like it's almost a stick. It almost looks like it's a stick inserted into kind of like a little platform. Rather than just an arcade stick on its own. But how much is that? $300! That's not happening. What is this? What is this for? They do have a stick called the drone. It's only... It's on sale for 80 bucks. on the flip side of that. With fight sticks, you very, very much get what you pay for. Like, unfortunately, that's just how it is. I think I, I think I will get a Hori. I, I don't know. Because the thing is, I really don't want to spend money on it. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, that's really... I have spent so much money on fighting games over the years for like just I mean just for fight sticks like looking over I have I think I bought five fight sticks right I've had three mad cats no I've had six three mad cats two eight arcs one hori all around I think that's cost me about all the mad cat sticks combined I think cost me 550 because I bought one for 150 one used for a hundred and then I believe, did this, I think this, the TES Plus was 200 So that's 550 The Hori cost me 120 And the two 8 arcs, one of them was 200 I think the other one, was the, I got. they gave me a discount because their customer service is awesome. So I think both of the 8 arcs that I bought add up to about maybe 225 I think. So all told, I almost hit $1,000 just on fight sticks alone. And out of all of those fight sticks, the only two that are still functional is the Chun-Li Mad Cat Stick, which is the one that I bought used. 
Um, and my Hori, which I basically did not use. <laughs> and so who knows if that would have actually stood up. But every single other one in my first 8 arc, the dual modded Xbox 360 slash PS3 one, the PCB failed, and so because of that, it just the, it did not recognize, the systems did not recognize it as a controller. Um, actually, you know what? I don't think the second 8 arc one broke. I think that's just a PS3 only. St oh, wait, shit. Does this one support legacy controllers? Because if it does, I might have that option available for me. So I don't think my the eight arc stick that I bought as a replacement. I don't think that one ever broke. It just it kept, got out of use because I got it around the time. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Does this support? Let me actually go check. So I've kind of. This is why I should not have done train. I mean, I it's a good thing that I did actually do this because now I have confirmation that my C button is occasionally failing on me and it's not me just going fucking crazy. So that's got nothing for me. That's got nothing for me. And it's definitely not here. So there's nothing in the options itself. That gives me anything worthwhile. Because I know with most games you have to jump through hoops. Like you have to keep a regular PS4 controller like plugged in and powered on and I think it actually has to be like active on that user in order for it to work you know what I'm just because like I said I kind of run out of shit to do I'm gonna test that right now I'm gonna see if I can get a legacy controller to work because if it does then I don't have to worry about this whole do I want to buy a new fight stick thing do I want to try back try going back and playing on pad again which will make me murder somebody um yeah, I don't know, but fuck, I mean, so, yeah, at least I have confirmation now that I'm not going insane, and that things that I drop out of no, because, I mean, just thinking about it, pretty much everything that I ever drop with Azrael is C button related. Like, I miss a Sentinel dump, I miss a 3C, I miss a Rekka, it's, I never drop anything that is not C button related. Shit, alright, I'll be back. <laughs>